Hey guys, Big Guy Car Reviews back again. Sorry I haven't been making any videos. I've been very, very busy with work and finally got a break. I'm going to be uh, talking about a certain video here. As you can see in the background, you're looking at the Hummer, the new Hummer um, video back there. And it's showing you everything about the Hummer. Well, guess what I found out? The Hummer has already been recalled. Now, you might have heard this news already. I've been trying to get this out, and I just haven't had a chance, but I got to do a little bit more research. Come to find out, GM were rushing these vehicles because they wanted to get them out to the public fast. So that this, what you're seeing now, was for this year's um, uh, auto show over in Chicago, the 2022 auto show. And uh, I just stood there watching this video, as you all see him. As you see right now, he's doing the crab walk and this, that, and the other. Now, come to find out, they're having electrical problems with this vehicle. So what it is, if the tail lights go out and you can't get them back to functioning, it kicks off all the lights from the back, the side lights, your uh, signal lights, uh, certain other lights in the back, and certain other electrical problems. That shouldn't be happening with a vehicle that's well over a hundred some thousand dollars, up to almost two hundred thousand dollars that they want you to pay for. Why is that happening? Well, like I said before, GM rushed this vehicle, so they saying that they have voluntary uh, recalls. If you want to bring it in voluntary, they'll work on it. But let me ask you something. Just think about it for a minute. If GM is pushing a vehicle out the door because they want to get sales because it's an EV and one of the most biggest popular EVs for them, the Hummer, and they want all that high and mighty money, you know, that they're asking for this thing, an electric tank on four wheels. Why is it that it's coming out the factory if it was their main priority and it's already got problems? Don't you think that if you're a General Motors executive, you're going to put your heart and soul into this vehicle. You're going to make sure that you check this thing out, double, triple, quadruple check it, and make sure you check it against all other type of safety and um, uh, crash uh, testing and whatever you got to do. You know, go cross the, the go cross the, um, what do they call that? Um, cross training, yeah. Go cross training with this vehicle. Do things with it to make sure that you never did that before, to make sure that it's operating fully. Yeah, that video that they showed on us there, as you can see the front end of it, it looks good. I won't deny it. I love this Hummer. You know, after seeing the video or whatnot, but with this Hummer being an EV, it only takes that one electrical problem to shut this thing down. Then I heard... Uh, if the lights stay on, you can't get them to shut off. So this thing has two different types of problems, electrical-wise. So if the lights stay on, the amber lights, the, the rutel lights, the, the headlights, and that big hot light that's in the Hummer sign up front, and you can't get it to shut off, it's going to stay on until it burns out the battery. Why is this? With this type of vehicle... For the money that they're asking for it, shouldn't this be a no problem situation? And why is it that this is a GM situation that you could have figured out some time ago when I made a video about General Motors and the situation they were in? I talked about the chips and how if they didn't have enough chips, which they didn't, they was going to be in a bidding war. And I said before, General Motors had, once upon a time, deep pockets. They got big pockets now, but they're not deep. Ford got big and deep pockets. Ford's filthy rich. And, 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 and Dodge, Chrysler Dodge, they've been taken over again. Well, they made some changes with the name. But Chrysler Dodge don't even own Chrysler Dodge anymore. Ford's the only one sitting pretty, you know. And, and as soon, Chrysler Dodge won't be making any cars. I hear they're talking about getting rid of the Chrysler name. But that's a video to come in the future. Right now, we're still talking about GM and how they're barely hanging on. 
I say that because when I went to this auto show, I looked at everybody else's vehicles. Then I went to General Motors. Okay. I went through Ford. I went through Dodge. I uh, didn't fool around with Toyota or Nissan because I kind of already knew. But I went to Jeep. And, you know, I'm a Jeep guy. I own a Jeep. But the thing is, when I came to GM, I said they better have this right because General Motors is right back near that chopping block again. And I'm going to tell you something. This don't look good. It looks real bad. You know, you put all this money into the research. You put with the engineers, this, that, and the other. You wanted this thing to be the best. I think it's phenomenal. It's still there. But it's going to need some, some things worked out. And you need to reassure the general public that for whatever electrical problems that you have, that you're going to take care of it so that these people can enjoy this vehicle that they just spent well over a hundred some thousand dollars for. Not everybody got that money right now, especially with inflation kicking in. And so with the EV world, everybody's going through their problems, you know, but a lot of people are still having success because Tesla still selling a whole lot of cars. Hey, check out the Ford GT uh, um, electric vehicle. Um, the, the, they I think they said that they're about a year in advance on, um, waiting list. Yeah. You can't buy it because it's a year in advance, you know, and that thing's already got 400 and some odd horsepowers. I think it's either 460 or close to 480. I could be wrong off the top of my head, but I know it's got 600 and some odd, uh, power and torque. You know, and that thing's actually faster than the production Mustang. You know, it's got that type of power. It's got that type of torque and it's flying. And there's a wait list for that. Here, this thing comes, the Hummer. And I'm pretty sure there's a wait list for it now. But the thing got electrical problems. You know, are you going to be the one who's going to go spend your life savings and juniors a uh, 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 college fund on this thing and it don't even work, you know, and it's, it's liable to shut down on you somewhere. You don't want to be spending that type of money for something that's not going to be reliable. And like I said before, General Motors hasn't been a reliable company in quite some time. That's why they had to go to the federal government to borrow money. It's a shame, but it is what it is, friends. Well, I'm going to leave it at this right now. Um, coming soon, I'm going to have some of your favorite country classic car videos. Get ready to go back to country classic. Hopefully I don't see a Hummer there because if I do, I'm going to do a video on it. You know that. But, uh, yeah, we're going to look and see what we, what we can find. I've been, it has been a while since I've been there. <clears throat> Didn't mean to make it this long. But as I said, working a job. Sometimes things happen where you can't get away. Well, enjoy the rest of this video, guys. Um, once again, this was taken at the 2020 Chicago Auto Show. And um, I thought it was wonderful seeing this thing. And I got as much video footage as I could on it. But uh, thanks again, guys, for joining me. Try to keep more videos coming to you. All right. Have a good one now. Bye-bye. Thank you.